Hi everyone, welcome to Corusas. Today we're going to be unwrapping and installing these Gorilla Enduro Pro brake pads. So today's sponsor, GorillaBrakes.com, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try out their new Enduro Pro high performance brake pads. They'd seen my review on their ceramic ones and they just wanted me to try these out. So go to their website, go to shop brake pads. They do all of these different brands, but we're after Shimano. We can sort by latest and the Enduro Pro is the ones we want, which are these. In the pack, you get two brake pads and the brake compound you need will be Enduro Pro. They're 20.39 a pair. Um, I've got the 8070 Altegra. So let's get back to the table. And they come in these little packages. There's obviously two in each. So we'll just um, crack these open. I've been using their ceramic ones for a number of years. The green ones, they're actually really good. The company tells me that this compound will need to bed in properly as it's slightly harder than the green ceramic ones. Nothing a big hill won't sort. What we'll do is we'll just cut them off, he says, bringing his completely blunt kid scissors. That was easy. Okay, now, being very careful, what we'll do is we'll just lift that up. So that is what the compound looks like okay nice gorilla on the back there you get a spring oh heck that's that is a that's tough that's tough to push together wow that's really impressive so yeah basically we'll just replace our green ones with these and we'll get them weighed in a minute but first we're just going to have a look at some information about them okay so when you come onto their page there's a test screen so we've got high temperature fail resistance better feeling all the way through the lever low abrasion long disc life best in test for wet weather stopping power which is going to be really cool okay so let's get them weighed one set 17 grams Alrighty, let's go down and put them on the yolio okay so here we are in the shed the first thing you got to do is obviously take the wheels off and take the rotors off because we're going to clean those up first. Okay, so we've got our 160 and our 140 mil rotors. Okay, so the way I clean these up, I just bring them into the sink, pour some fairy liquid over and scrub them. Okay, the rotors are clean. As you can see, we've got uh, some dust here. So we're just going to whip out the pads and then give the area a clean up with some degreaser. Okay, I've taken the bolt out, so just uh, push them out now. There they come. We'll keep those. Mm, that's some spares. And we'll get some degreaser in there. Push the pistons back out if we need to. And then uh, install the new ones. And we're about to put them in. So what I do is I get the pads ready like this. And then I just put my 3mm Allen key through the top. That keeps everything lined up. And then I can just squeeze them together. push them in to where I need them, take that out, push them down, and then I can put the bolt through there. It should all be lined up. I've got some aftermarket 3mm Allen key versions with a, a split ring or a keeper, whatever you want to call it. So I can put that through there, do it up like so. Never had one come undone. And this little split ring, it just goes on here like so, and then I just turn that round to face up. So now we just fit the front one um, in the same way. So they get lined up properly, squeeze them together, put them in, push them down, get rid of that, push them in, get my pin here, push them through, do it up. And there's a set for the rotor. Okay, so brake pads are in, looking great. Um, no rubbing on the rear rotor. I haven't had to move that at all. If we move over to the front, these I had to move a little bit just by um, undoing the retaining bolts and uh, just moving the caliper so that it didn't rub. But yeah, apart from that, install really easy. 
nothing to worry about. Looking forward to using those new Enduro Pro pads. So the next video is going to be me coming down a steep hill and uh, bedding them in. And then going for a ride and telling you all about them. So thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care, bye.